on your transformation doesn't mean that I'm in the right, I'm in the same spot with you. So. Okay, all right, so, all right, all right, cool. There's like honestly nothing to talk about. I mean, I won't live with like the fighting and stuff, like if it was constant. Kim, Kanye drama nears climax. While the couple seemed to be in love for almost seven years, it now appears to have run out. Yes, it wouldn't be wrong to say that drama is embedded in Kardashian's DNA like an extra chromosome. Kim Kardashian, who was successful in securing a victory in divorce proceedings, finally broke the silence on Instagram. So, what does the 41-year-old media socialite have to say about the whole fiasco? Keep on watching to find out. The couple marked a bitter end to the relationship, but the history they've had is rich. Despite being in love once, the couple had a challenging year in 2020, leading to the relationship to a point of no return. It was revealed that the rapper blew up at the reality star, which really upset her and resulted in a big fight. Although the news was devastating for pop culture, it barely surprised anyone, as Kanye had already been living in a different state than the rest of the family. During an episode of Keeping Up With Our Kardashians, Kim said, I just honestly can't do this anymore. Why am I still in this place where I'm stuck for years? Like he goes and moves to a different state every year. It was later revealed that this became a major reason for the split as Kanye was spending more time in Wyoming to focus on his music, fashion, and art. The couple remained on amicable terms despite them filing for divorce. During this period, Kim also supported the rapper's work and even wore a wedding dress at Donda's listening party, while Kanye was spotted with Julia Fox. However, things got ugly for the two when Kim started dating Saturday Night Live comic Pete Davidson. The Grammy Award winner took things to the next level on social media when he posted a paparazzi photo of Pete Davidson. If only things weren't bad enough, Ye called Davidson a dickhead and claimed that he was Hillary Clinton's ex-boyfriend. He then posted a fight night image of him and Pete. Ye spiced up the drama a little more when he shared a screenshot of a text message he allegedly received from Pete. In the screenshot, Pete promises to never get in the way of his children. All the while, when Kim and Davidson were trying to enjoy their honeymoon phase, Ye was desperately doing things to attract more attention. It was then that he began dropping diss tracks. He released his new single that goes by the lyrics, God save me from the crash just so I can beat Pete Davidson's ass. He further lashes out on Kim's parenting style. I got love for the nannies, but real family is better. The cameras watch the kids. Y'all stop taking the credit. The rapper threw more tantrums and claimed that he got rid of an unreleased sex tape of the KKW creator with Ray J. Kim and North uploaded a new video together on North's TikTok account, which Ye wasn't supportive of. The singer took it again to Instagram and said, Since this is my first divorce, I need to know what should I do about my daughter being put on TikTok against my will. While Ye went to all bounds to defame Kim and showed what a bitter ex with no dignity looks like, fans couldn't praise Kim for her dignified handling of Kanye West's constant attacks. A fan tweeted, Pretty wild to watch Kanye publicly harass and basically stalk Kim via social media and still see piece of shit men call him a genius. Another one said, As a survivor of domestic violence, I can no longer just sit back and be quiet. Kanye West is using his fame and music platform to harass and threaten Kim K and Pete D. It isn't art. It is disturbing, scary, and wrong. He needs to be arrested. A few pointed out Kanye's red flags. Globally, we are witnessing the disturbing actions of at Kanye West against at Kim Kardashian. It is our responsibility to name this abusive behavior, hashtag Kanye West. Kim remained silent until about last month when she posted a statement on Instagram where she said that Kanye was making co-parenting their children impossible. The social media mogul denied the rapper's claim in the existence of a second sex tape. She took it to an Instagram story where she opened up about the pain Ye caused through his hurtful comments. Kim went on, Divorce is difficult enough on our children and Kanye's obsession with trying to control and manipulate our situation so negatively and publicly is only causing further pain for all. From the beginning, I have wanted nothing but a healthy and supportive co-parenting relationship because it is what is best for our children and saddens me that Kanye continues to make it impossible every step of the way. Just recently on March 4th, 2022, Kim was declared legally single by a Los Angeles court. The Keeping Up With Her Kardashian star posted on Instagram and shared her photos with the caption, selfies and serial kind of night, while Kanye is losing it. It's business and positive vibes on Kim's Instagram. Kim's lack of reaction during this marital strife won her admiration of many fans, with several admitting that her dignified response has given them newfound respect for her. During this time, Kanye's comments regarding Kim Kardashian and new boyfriend are also going viral on social media. After involving himself in quite the controversy, Kanye West finally decided to apologize for his remarks. 
It was also alleged on social media platforms that the rapper had handed over his PR work to his social media team, who were now doing the work for him. However, in either case, it remained clear that Kanye, who recently changed his name to Ye, was going out of his way to show apologetic behavior for his words. I'm working on my communication. In the caption of the most recent Instagram photo, Ye said that he shared private texts with his ex-girlfriend Kim Kardashian West about her new lover Pete Davidson on social media. There's a lot to keep up with from his now mainly removed social media statements about his split with his wife Kim Kardashian and her boyfriend SNL star Pete Davidson, to the end of his brief engagement with actress Julia Fox in his upcoming Netflix film, Genius A Kanye Trilogy. The rapper and fashion mogul then wiped his verified Instagram account recently, posting what looked to be a stylized portrait of himself with the remark, I've learned that using all caps makes people feel like I'm screaming at them. I'm working on my communication. I can benefit from a team of creative professionals, organizers, mobilizers, and community leaders. Thank everybody for supporting me, the caption read. I know sharing screenshots was jarring and came off as harassing Kim. I take accountability. I'm still learning in real time. I don't have all the answers. To be a good leader is to be a good listener. It was the latest twist in the star's personal life. After two months of high-profile dating, a Fox spokesman confirmed to CNN on Tuesday that she and Wes are no longer together. They remain close friends and collaborators, the spokesperson wrote in a statement. They are no longer together. Kardashian and Wes are still divorcing. In recent weeks, he has used his verified Instagram account to express his wishes for reconciliation as well as his comments on her relationship with Davidson. As of Tuesday, several of the posts have been deleted, including one from Valentine's Day that showed a truck full of roses with the phrase, My vision is crystal clear. However, West did the first tweet a photo of Kim Kardashian and her four children from a recent Vogue cover story, along with the phrase, God, please bring our family back together. Kardashian issued a statement earlier this month in response to West's recent comments about their eight-year-old daughter North having a joint TikTok account with her mother. Divorce is difficult enough on our children, and Kanye's obsession with trying to control and manipulate our situation so negatively and publicly is only causing further pain for all, Kardashian said. West, who now goes by the moniker Ye, revealed on Monday that the Donda Experience performance will be coming to Miami later this month. Ye's 10th studio album Donda is currently nominated for five Grammy Awards, including Album of the Year. A press release for the event reads, Donda, which broke streaming records last year and set an all-time Apple Music record with number one debuts in 152 countries, has sold 2 million albums globally, amassing almost 3 billion streams. Kanye West has apologized for posting private messages from his ex-girlfriend Kim Kardashian on his Instagram account. Genius, the rapper and star of a new three-part Netflix documentary, expressed contrition on his verified social media account on Tuesday for his increasing behavior with his ex in recent weeks. In the letter, Ye addresses his habit of using caps in Instagram photos, descriptions, and on social media, as well as his decision to broadcast private messages with Kardashian on his public account on multiple occasions causing Kardashian to wonder why Ye can't keep any of their discussions secret. In the post, Kanye West also acknowledged that sharing his communications with Kardashian was seen by many as harassment. What are your thoughts regarding this? That's it from our side. Now, we want to know your thoughts about the way Kanye treated Kim in the comment section. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more updates.